Changing gears now, if you're familiar with children's books, you may have heard about the Casey and Bella book series. What's the next adventure for the dogs? Jeff Hennig stopped by a local elementary school on Friday to find out. As they walked along the street, suddenly a limo stopped at the light. Out jumped a skunk and his teeth were pearly white. The scene on Friday morning as West New York author Jane Lavasio spent time reading from one of her popular Casey and Bella books to first and second graders at North Bergen's Kennedy School. Lavasio visits schools and encourages students to pursue their creative imaginations through writing. The reason I'm here today is about you. The reason I'm here is because every single is an the main focus when I go to schools is to let children know that they are authors. There's no special age limit on becoming an author and that if they want to become published tomorrow, they can. That's the whole purpose of the Casey and Bell Writing Contest. So the con to convey the message is for the children to know they can make any dream come true as long as they stay positive, stay in school, and dream big. And then through Casey and Bella's adventures and the four different stories, each book has its own moral message, whether it's to treat others the way you want to be treated. That's something Casey taught to everyone she greeted, the golden rule or just that money won't buy you happiness, or fame won't make you happy. It's all that matters is the love inside. And where's the trouble? Have you ever met somebody who wasn't very nice? Raise your hand. Right. Did it hurt your feelings? Her latest book, Casey and Bella Go to Hawaii, has just been published. It was developed from a story by last year's contest winner, fifth grade Millstone Township Elementary School student Lacey Hickey, who will attend a book signing with Lavasio at Barnes & Noble on Route 9 in Freehold on March 12th. Lacey will actually sign her book, Casey and Bella Go to Hawaii, for her friends and family, and Casey and Bella, the real dogs in the book series, will be there to support her and Paul Prince sign the books. And it shows children that at any age you can become a published author, and if you dream big and you stay positive and you stay in school, you can make any dream come true. Wonderful, great job, because you're reading books about dogs, and I write books about dogs. Our children are good students, they can learn, and we want them to succeed in life, and this is just another way of building up their self-esteem and their egos and realize that, you know, they can be an author too someday, and especially for the little ones. And she learned that money doesn't buy you happiness, all that matters is the love inside. Give yourself a round of applause for all the lessons To learn more about the annual Casey and Bella Writing Contest, which is open to third, fourth, and fifth graders, just visit www.caseyandbella.com. In North Bergen, Jeff Hennig, Neighborhood Journal.